afternoon. I'm Cristina Palais, Marketing and Communication Manager at Johan Cruyff Institute. Welcome to the final session of our six-part webinar series on Web3 and blockchain in collaboration with our partner Setly. Today, Christian Dreinach, Web3 Marketing Specialist, will lead us through challenges, considerations and business models. This webinar will tackle the challenges FUBO Club face with Web3 implementation. We will discuss different business models like subs subscriptions, sponsorships, advertising and how to leverage data for revenue. For more details on this series and to discover future webinars, please visit our website. You can revisit all sessions on the Johann Cruyff Institute's YouTube channel or our website, making it easy to watch again or share with friends. We hope you find this final webinar insightful. Thank you for joining us throughout the series. Hello everyone, this is Christian Dronjak speaking. This is uh, our last webinar today. It uh, will be about uh, challenges, considerations and business models uh, in regards to implementing web-free uh, strategies uh, in football uh, clubs. Uh, so we will focus on uh, challenges, uh, discussion on various business models, uh, subscription-based models, sponsorship and advertising opportunities in web free, and uh, finally at the end of this presentation we'll talk about uh, leveraging data for revenue uh, generation. So we experience uh, a lot of data around us lately, uh, so uh, I will try to teach you how to uh, use this data uh, in your advantage, basically, and uh, generate new revenue streams for your football clubs. Uh, so, firstly, uh, let's uh, focus on in the identifying challenges in implementing Web3 uh, for football clubs. And uh, when we talk about um, the challenges, uh, always when we implement, you know, new strategies, uh, we implement new products, new solutions, new technologies. There are several uh, key uh, challenges uh, which, uh, in that case, football clubs uh, might experience. Uh, so I will try to um, explain them to you uh, in details uh, right now. So uh, first of all, we talk about technical complexity. Uh, so uh, when we talk about uh, blockchain integration, uh, we need to integrate uh, blockchain technology with existing club systems. And it's uh, quite complex and costly, so uh, it's good to create some kind of roadmap and implement step by step all the necessary uh, uh, key uh, points towards uh, the, the final goal and the implementation of Web3 strategy. Next, uh, interoperability. So new platform platforms must be compatible uh, with existing technologies, uh, which might be, you know, challenging. So it's very important to choose the right uh, technological partner, uh, which fits exactly uh, into your strategy and your uh, expectations, your needs, your uh, present situation. So it's very important to choose uh, con and concentrate on. The, uh, blockchain integration and the right technological partner apart from that we might experience some security concerns uh, in regards to for example cyber security risks so uh, web free applications are prone to cyber attacks uh, and they require advanced security measures uh, so on that uh, end it's very important to create uh, all uh, potential uh, you know cyber attacks you might experience and uh, basically build the firewall to prevent you from against those uh, cyber attacks. Uh, another thing is fraud prevention, so protecting against fraud in the context of tokens and uh, digital collectible, uh, which is crucial. Uh, and you need to basically pass this knowledge to uh, end users which are your, your fans and uh, they need to be educated in this area how they can basically uh, do it in, in the right and safe way uh, to uh, buy trade uh, save your tokens uh, so security concerns are, are very important and also you need to create some kind of roadmap uh, when we talk about cybersecurity uh, risks 
uh, regulatory compliance, which do differentiate, differentiate uh, from country to another country. Uh, so uh, you, you, you need to be compliant with your uh, national law and uh, have in mind legal uncertainty. Uh, so regulations uh, around cryptocurrencies and tokens, NFTs are, are evolving and vary by country. So it's very important to have a lawyer in, in your implementation team. A KYC and IML, uh, this shortcut means uh, know your customer uh, and anti-money laundering procedures. Uh, so uh, this uh, regu regulatory compliance uh, procedures are uh, necessary and very important. So uh, keep that in mind. User adoption and education. Uh, basically, if you would like to uh, succeed uh, while implementing your web free strategy within your football club, um, you need to focus also when everything everything is already done. You've got the right technology in place, the right techno technological partner. Uh, it's very important to educate your fans because these guys are the end users, and uh, your success uh, depends on uh, usability, on uh, basically how they use uh, the the whole implementation, how they use your tokens, how they use collectibles, merchandise, all the necessary uh, things uh, which you have implemented in your web free uh, strategy. So it's very important and uh, focus on education uh, of your fans. So educate fans about web free technologies, it's necessary, but obviously requires time and resources. Uh, so the right people in place, uh, roadmap, and uh, education, right? Uh, user experience. So while implementing a technology, you need to uh, implement uh, the right web-free applications. So they, they must be intuitive and user-friendly. So when we talk about user experience, UX shortcut, uh, it's very important because um, uh, we talk about uh, user flow, uh, how they uh, interact with your applications, how they basically browse and reach elements, uh, what are the heat maps uh, in, in this uh, final solutions, websites, applications, are they user friendly? It's very important because otherwise you will experience, um, you know, uh, low uh, usage of your applications. So it's very important to uh, create applications which are user friendly. Uh, final final considerations. So, initial investment implementing web-free technologies requires signif significant upfront investment. Uh, but sometimes you might get this, uh, you know, money from issuing, for example, your uh, tokens. So you might get back this uh, kind of money later on while you implement your uh, web-free uh, strategy. Or you sell your digital collectibles, so you need to invest upfront to uh, get uh, back uh, your uh, return or in return on investment or uh, exact uh, users. So uh, volatility of digital assets, so the price of volatility of cryptocurrencies, tokens, uh, NFTs po possess sometimes financial risks. Uh, so uh, it's all about education, it's all about the implementation of your web-free uh, strategy, uh, how you educate your fans uh, and how um, they will be, uh, you know, uh, aware of, of the whole uh, procedures, of the whole system, uh, how they should do it, you know, in the uh, which way. So it's very important to educate uh, about all these challenges as well. Uh, you know, so uh, apart from that, stakeholder management. So uh, internal buy-in, convincing our management team, decision makers in our football clubs to invest in Web3, which might be, you know, challenging, obviously, but when you uh, show them uh, innovative ways of uh, engaging funds, of uh, creating new uh, revenue streams, uh, so uh, all new technologies uh, have you know, advantages and disadvantages. Uh, so as usual with everything, you know, but uh, times go on, uh, we're getting, we use AI right now, we 
uh, use latest technologies. Uh, so let's uh, focus on our football club as well and implement those new innovative ways of engaging funds and uh, creating new revenue streams. It's you know it's it's very important. So uh, we, we need to do it anyway. Uh, <clears throat> external partnerships. So forming partnerships with technology providers and other clubs uh, requires coordination and the right team, right people in place. I believe you've got this, uh, the right people uh, and external partners already in place. Uh, scalability, so uh, ha handling large user bases. So uh, web free technologies must support a large, num a large number of users. Uh, I'm sure that you have already a huge database of your uh, fans, of your uh, uh, people who participate in all of your activities, uh, and uh, you need to have uh, in mind these uh, possibilities. Per performance issues, so uh, maintaining, maintaining system, the right system, the right technology, performance is crucial. Uh, especially during high traffic events, so it's uh, very important to uh, choose the right technological partner, especially in uh, peak hours uh, and, and during the uh, match day, for example, or before match day. Uh, sustainability. Uh, this is another uh, challenging uh, issue which we experience, especially these days, uh, which is environmental impact. Uh, blockchain technologies uh, might be energy intensive, uh, so sustainable alternatives should be considered as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, blockchain needs a lot of energy, but you might find uh, different solutions, uh, sustainable alternatives. Fun experience, so enhancing engagement. Uh, clubs, football clubs, need to find ways uh, to integrate web free that generally enhance the fun experience. Uh, so it's good to create a map of uh, engaging activities right now and uh, move them into the blockchain uh, world, into the new technologies, and uh, but have uh, bear in mind balancing between tradition and innovation. Uh, so our football clubs are different. Every football club ha has its own tradition and uh, basically uh, should should uh, balance between this tradition and innovation so um, it should be balanced basically right so um, keep your old tradition and get into the new uh, technology into the uh, new world market competition so clubs uh, should stay competitive as well uh, so must ensure the web free offerings stand out uh, innovation pressure. Constant innovation requires investment and commitment to developing uh, new technologies. But um, these new technologies uh, might be challenging, uh, but in my opinion, worth doing. Uh, so addressing these this challenges requires careful planning, investment, and the engagement of all stakeholders, including football clubs, fans, uh, board members, uh, you know, marketing, communication team, all of of all stakeholders, right? So bear that in mind and focus on implementing the right uh, web-free strategy in your football club. We always uh, experience, uh, you know, we will always experience challenges uh, in our activities. Uh, but uh, it, you might find it, uh, you know, challenging and uh, interesting, right? Exciting. So uh, apart from that, now I will try to focus on discussion on various business models and basically subscription-based models. So now we'll talk about a little bit about um, uh, which uh, business models subscription-based subscription models we might implement in our football club. Uh, so uh, these business models offer mm, a continuous revenue stream for our clubs uh, by providing exclusive content, services, benefits to our subscribers. Uh, so web-free technologies can enhance these models by uh, offering a new ways, new level of engagement and, and security for blockchain smart contracts. Uh, and DeFi apps, which means 
centralized uh, apps. Uh, and apart apart from that, uh, we we talk about the subscription based model, uh, which means stable revenue stream for our football club. So every single month, every single three months, six months, every year, you get um, some amount of money from your fans. So you might uh, expect this revenue streams and plan your budget uh, aligned to this. Uh, subscription-based business models. Uh, so, what we, what kind of key features of subscription-based models in Web3 uh, we have? So, exclusive digital content, NFTs. When you talk about NFTs, uh, subscribers can receive uh, exclusive NFTs such as digital collectibles of memorable moments, player cards or special edition, edition merchandise. For example, NBA Top Shots, right? FIFA Collect, uh, implemented by uh, the World Cup. Uh, access to, uh, and FIFA, obviously, access to behind the scenes content, video content, interviews, uh, training sessions, and other unique insights uh, from our favorite sportsmen and footballers. Enhanced fan engagement. So tokenized membership. Subscribers could receive uh, membership tokens uh, that provide voting rights on certain club decisions, fostering a deeper sense of involvement and sense of community, basically, right? Uh, in that section, uh, I will present you a use case. I will present you case study how uh, Blockchain United FC implemented uh, they uh, subscription based model. So, uh, only during this webinar, um, I wanted to give you some kind of uh, market example, use case, how you should do it in the correct way and to differentiate different, uh, different uh, levels of memberships between your uh, fans or fans of United Blockchain FC. Uh, fan tokens, so these tokens can offer benefits like access to exclusive events, the meet and greets with players or special merchandise. Apart from that, you can uh, also implement play away games uh, as well, right? So when uh, your team is going away, and uh, match with, with a different team, you might uh, implement some kind of activities uh, during away games. Personalized experiences. So customized uh, content. Uh, subscribers can receive tailored content based on their preferences and engagement history. Uh, virtual experiences, access to virtual reality. We, we talk about VR experiences uh, such as virtual stadiums, stores, or augmented reality. Uh, interactions during live matches or metaverse. You name it, right? It's up to you how uh, create how creative you'll be and what kind of tools you will implement and how you will differentiate from different clubs, from different sport uh, people, uh, footballers. Uh, so it's all it's up to you basically how creative you'll be um, loyalty programs uh, reward systems subscribers uh, can earn points or tokens uh, for the engagement and loyalty which can be redeemed for merchandise tickets uh, or other perks for example uh, meet and greet uh, for your son uh, who is uh, you know the fan of the this footballer so let's uh, organize for them meet and greet because of his birthday, right? So, tired the membership level, different subscriptions levels, uh, offering varying degrees of access and benefits, secure transactions, uh, blockchain for payments, right? So, using blockchain for subscription payments, uh, which ensure which ensure transparency and security, smart contracts. Uh, everything is based when you're issuing tokens, everything is based and uh, written uh, in smart contract. So this is how uh, everything behaves with your uh, community, how the usability works, what can, then can what they can do within the smart contracts. Um, so automate subscriptions, renewals and benefit distributions through smart contracts. So. Uh, uh, what kind of benefits of subscriptions-based uh, models we have? 
uh, which uh, I have uh, mentioned before. Uh, predictable revenue stream. So regular subscription fees provide a steady and predictable income, aiding in financial planning and stability, uh, which uh, guarantees uh, your huge uh, improvement, right? Huge progress. Uh, increased fund engagement. So offering exclusive content and experiences fosters a deeper connections uh, between the club and its fans, enhancing loyalty and long-term support. Another benefit of subscription-based models, data-driven insights. Uh, subscriptions platform uh, can collect available data on fan preferences and behavior, uh, which helps clubs tailor their offerings and marketing strategies more effectively. Uh, you can use this data to present uh, your potential to the, to, uh, to the potential fans. Right, potential of your club, of your community, uh, of your fans, and what what you can uh, offer to the potential uh, sponsor within your community, with your within your football club. Enhanced community building, tokenized memberships and fan tokens uh, might create a sense of owner of ownership and involvement, uh, turning the passive fans into active participants funds in the club's ecosystem. Uh, this is the, 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 the huge uh, difference, I, I suppose, because uh, before we had match day and before match day, right? Now we can implement in our clubs 24-7 model of fun, right? We didn't experience this kind of opportunity ever before, right? So use this uh, opportunity uh, to your advantage and uh, create new ways of activities, uh, new ways of engagement. Now you might engage your fans 24 seven, so 24 hours, seven days a week. So enhance community building. Apart from that, what kind of potential challenges we might um, experience within uh, subscription-based models? Uh, firstly, adoption and understanding. Uh, still, um, I might repeat myself, but uh, you know it's very important. Educate fans on the benefits of web-free technologies and ensure ease of use, which is crucial for widespread adoption. Right. Uh, so, um, sport is uh, more likely um, to uh, build a huge adoption for this kind of uh, technologies. Right, because sport is sport is passion, sport uh, is emotions, right? Uh, so it might be very important uh, to create this adoption um, within sport industry. Maintain values. Uh, clubs uh, must continually provide high quality, exclusive content and benefits to justify the subscription cost and keep subscribers engaged. And uh, so before you remember in the previous webinar, I told you about the web uh, web 2.0. Now we, we are we live in the web 3 world, uh, which is AI, blockchain, IoT and um, and DeFi. Uh, so uh, now we've got more solutions to uh, basically create uh, more value for our potential funds. Uh, or existing funds, more value for uh, everyone. So now we uh, we can um, cheer our lovely football club seven days a week, right? And create special tools within our app, within our website, within our databases, and everything is included in the blockchain technology. Uh, regulatory considerations. Navigating the regulatory landscape around digital assets and ensuring compliance with local laws. So, law team is must have within our implementation team. Initial investment, developing and implementing a web free based subscription platform uh, requires from us significant upfront investment in technology and infrastructure, but treat it as an investment. So, uh, you know, you, you, you can measure return on investment on. Um, uh, on daily basis, on a weekly basis, monthly basis, uh, you know, every year, every few months, it's, it's up to you. But 
uh, it's investment. So when you talk about investments, uh, it's, it's good for our club. So uh, I promised you to uh, present you business model, business models case study. So let's say uh, we have potential implementation. Example club, which I uh, give name uh, FC Blockchain United. Uh, subscription tires. So we differentiate three levels of uh, membership for our potential funds. We view FC Blockchain United. Uh, the basic membership uh, uh, gives uh, funds access to behind the scenes content and monthly newsletters. So as you can notice here, uh, we differ differentiate uh, this uh, levels of engagement, level levels of exclusive content. Premium memberships uh, includes basic benefits plus exclusive NFTs, voting rights on minor club decisions, and virtual experiences. Uh, so it's always, you know, everyone wants to have uh, the, the biggest possible, uh, you know, um, membership, especially when it's called VIP, a very important person. Uh, so uh, they're trying to get, you know, as much as possible. They are keen to pay for this membership and uh, get new ways of um, engagement with uh, their lovely football club, right? Uh, VIP package gives uh, potential funds of FC Blockchain United uh, premium benefits, plus physical merchandise, tickets to events, and personal interactions with players. See? Uh, so we've got three levels of subscription tires. Uh, fun tokens. Uh, distribute monthly to subscribers, which can be used for voting, accessing premium content, or participating in special events. Loyalty program. Subscribers earn points for the engagement, such as attending virtual events, purchasing merchandise, so we can actually um, create uh, points for each uh, transaction, for each activity, which can be redeemed for additional benefits. Uh, you also can create special prices for the, for these activities. Uh, so uh, your funds use uh, this technology within FC Blockchain United and uh, use blockchain payments. So within the platform, um, the subscription fees are paid through a secret blockchain platform ensuring transparency and security. We experience a lot of data. Uh, we collect a lot of data within uh, those apps, within this technology, which can be used in different purposes. Uh, for example, in um, creating new ways of engagement or uh, new ways of personal experiences for these people, especially when uh, you use AI connected to the blockchain um, technology, smart contracts, automate the distribution of benefits and renewal processes. So you've got predictable, uh, predictable uh, revenue streams. Uh, ensure a seamless experience for subscribers. Everything is happening. You know, imagine happening very quickly. Uh, they trade, they buy, they get points, they engage, uh, they uh, decide within your club. They do a lot of activities. You know, which they, they couldn't do before, right? So um, by leveraging uh, web free technologies, uh, football clubs, as you, as yourself, can create robust, engaging, secure subscription-based models that provide a value to fans and generate consistent revenue. Everything is, you know, uh, user-friendly, uh, technolog technologically based. Uh, you, you, right now, you've got new innovative ways of uh, engaging your potential funds. So uh, the subscription-based models are very important that, because uh, they might be stable uh, revenue streams for a football club, and they can help you uh, implement a lot of things, improve, you know, make huge progress and uh, become a better club, become a better communication team, uh, more engaging and uh, interesting. Uh, so you might, you know, speed up uh, before your competition. Right? 
So uh, use this case study, potential implementation. It, it might look similar within your club. It, it's up to you. Depends on your uh, vision, but uh, try to map uh, all these activities and uh, potential, um, you know, uh, advantages for your plans. Right now, we'll go through sponsorship and advertising opportunities in Web3. <clears throat> so we uh, have several different uh, sponsorship and now advertising opportunities in Web3 industry. First of all, NFTs. Uh, so unique digital, digital collectible, create an addition digital collectibles such as player cards, memorable match match moments, exclusive behind the scenes uh, content. It's up to you as well. Top shots, actions, um, uh, exclusive content, special uh, interviews uh, with players, uh, special cards, uh, special uh, memorabilia, right? Uh, souvenirs, uh, club souvenirs, uh, revenue genera generation, sell NFTs to fans, uh, which provides you a new revenue stream. Fan engagement, so enhance uh, fan engagement uh, by allowing fans to own a piece of their favorite club's history. So you, you increase fan engagement with your, within your club by uh, issuing these tokens and um, giving uh, them to your uh, fan, to your fans, to your fan base. Tokenization, fan tokens, um, launch fan tokens that provide holders with exclusive benefits such as voting rights on club decisions, VIP experiences, and merchandise uh, discounts. Uh, so uh, fan tokens are crucial. Uh, we have different uh, use cases on the market already. Uh, we know a, a few big names uh, among football clubs implemented uh, fan tokens. Um, so uh, learn from their experiences, from their mistakes, uh, avoid them within your strategy when, while you create uh, your strategy, your own strategy, and uh, make it as much as inter interesting as possible. Uh, and more approachable for your potential uh, users. Uh, monetary incentives. Fans can trade tokens, potentially earning value, while clubs benefit from the initial token sales. But apart from that, uh, uh, your football club might uh, get money from uh, trading fees, right? Or a special uh, subscri subscription-based model models. Uh, so there are several different ways of earning and uh, money and uh, create revenue streams, which after you can use uh, for the progress of your club. The centralized sponsorships, smart contracts. So utilize smart contracts uh, for transparent and automa automated sponsorship deals, ensuring that payments and ter terms are met without intermediaries, uh, global reach, uh, attract sponsors uh, from around the world, uh, leveraging uh, the portal's nature of Web3. So uh, um, uh, our world seems to be like a global village right now. And uh, I hope you agree with me uh, within the internet, uh, you know, and blockchain technologies, uh, that, that the world is smaller and smaller, becomes smaller and smaller. And uh, yeah, we can reach everybody basically, but um, try, try to, uh, distribute your fan tokens and NFTs uh, firstly among your uh, existing fan base, right? It's very important uh, because uh, then you'll build, uh, you'll build, build um, usability around those tokens uh, and uh, you'll, you'll build the value, right? Uh, because if, if people buy them just to trade, you know, it's what's the point, right? And uh, it's very hard to build the uh, usability and long term, um, long term, uh, you know, advantages for everyone uh, engage uh, within this technology. A metaverse presence, uh, virtual stadiums, right? So create virtual stadiums where fans can attend matches, interact with players, and purchase uh, virtual merchandise. So we talk about uh, digital twins. Uh, we, we have technology on the market, at least is uh, working on, on digital twin uh, when we talk about stadium as well. Uh, they've got a special program, uh, so it's getting better and better right now. Uh, so we definitely will experience later, sooner or later. 
and on Metaverse presence, a virtual events. So host virtual events, uh, meets and greets, uh, training sessions, provide unique fun, provide unique fun experiences. Uh, be, be creative, right? It's, it's very important. Uh, blockchain-based loyalty programs, uh, so fun loyalty. Implement blockchain-based loyalty programs uh, that reward funds for the engagement, purchases, and support uh, with points or tokens, right? So you, uh, when you have tokens, you can build fun loyalty mm, uh, within these tokens. Transparency and security provide a secure and transparent way to track and redeem loyalty rewards. Uh, so you should redeem them, uh, and every, everyone can be able uh, should be able to redeem them uh, in the way they want. Uh, uh, what what is included in within your technology is very important, but you should educate them how to do it properly. Uh, decentralized uh, decentralized advertising platforms, uh, targeted advertising. So yeah, uh, when we talk about advertising platforms, um, uh, when we have this a lot of data. Uh, so we can target, uh, create target advertising, uh, targeted advertising. So, so we can use the centralized advertising platforms to deliver targeted ads uh, to specific fund segments, improving ad efficiency. Uh, so we can create additional revenue for centralized ad networks uh, that reward uh, viewers with tokens uh, for watching the ads. Uh, when we talk about different um, existing uh, Ad solutions on the market such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you know, uh, Google Ads, uh, all of them are all, all of these technologies implement AI solutions as well within them. And uh, yeah, you can basically uh, gain a lot of data and basically mine this data, right? There's a solution like data mining and use to your advantage to advantage of your sponsors and your partner partners digital ticketing so blockchain tickets uh, we can issue tickets on the blockchain to prevent fraud and scalping ensuring secure and verifiable ticket ownership right so uh, blockchain tickets i think nfts will be the future blockchain tickets and uh, obviously you can offer uh, some kind of uh, advert advertisements on this uh, level as well. Enhanced fun experience. So integrate additional features such as even access, uh, merchandise discounts and exclusive content within digital uh, tickets. Crowdfunding initiatives, uh, fun funding. For example, we can uh, launch crowdfunding campaigns uh, using you know, tokens, NFTs uh, to fund the club projects, stadium upgrades, youth programs or uh, ambassadors programs, you know, the, the young sportsmen, programs, young footballers. So crowdfunding is it's very important within uh, blockchain technology as well. And you've got this kind of opportunities. Community of ownership, allow funds to have a stake in the club's projects, uh, fostering a deeper connections and sense of ownership. So as you could notice, uh, we've been implementing, uh, we've implementing of uh, blockchain technology, uh, funds are getting new uh, levels of uh, participation uh, with their favorite uh, football club, right? It's very important uh, to use this also opportunity um, for your, to create special programs for your funds. Uh, and now we are going to uh, leveraging data for revenue uh, generation. Uh, yes, some people say that we've got um, more data in the world than the uh, sources of oil, right? So there's more data than uh, sources of oil in, in the world. Uh, yes, yeah, so we we have uh, oh, we have a different um, uh, we have different. Uh, data for revenue uh, generation and for example a personalized what kind of um, data we can leverage um, to our advantage to the uh, to, uh, uh, advantage of our club so personalized fun experiences uh, when we get this data we can uh, create 
used this data, used this analytics to understand fun, our fans' preferences and behavior. So we've got data-driven insights, right? And we uh, might be better. We might offer better solutions. Basically, we get feedback, right, from the end users. Uh, we can create customized content. Content. So we can deliver personalized content offers and the experiences to fans based uh, on their data. And uh, what we achieve is increased engagement. So we uh, personalize interactions, uh, which can lead to higher fan engagement and loyalty. Uh, enhanced uh, merchandise sales. So behavioral analysis, analyze purchasing patterns to predict future uh, sales trends. Uh, right. Uh, so now on the market, we've got you know AI, we've got blockchain, uh, we've got predictive analytics, and we can plan uh, upfront everything, uh, some kind of uh, models, sales models, fan experiences models, sponsorship deals. Uh, so uh, target promotions, offer personalized discounts and promotion based on fan purchase history and preferences. So if you buy more or less, uh, you gain this kind of uh, an extra pink, right? So inventory management, optimize inventory based on the predictive analytics, ensuring popular items are always in stock. So we can predict uh, what's uh, what's favorite, what's popular, what's, what's not, and uh, what we can buy in stock. Uh, improved sponsorship deals, sponsor matching, use fan demographic and behavioral data to attract sponsors that align with the, uh, our fan base, right? So we can also use this information uh, when we talk about uh, sponsors. Performance metrics, provide detailed performance metrics to sponsors uh, showcasing the reach and engagement of their sponsorship. So uh, yeah, before we had, uh, for example, you know, reach, engagement rate, uh, number of interactions, number of likes, comments, shares, uh, we had also data from Google Analytics. Now we will gain an extra amount of data from newest technologies, right? Uh, which are more uh, more accurate, more time based, uh, more more real time. So uh, value proposition: demonstrate the value of the sponsorship deals with precise data, justifying higher sponsorship fees. Obviously, uh, everything is possible when you implement the, the blockchain technology, when you educate your fans, uh, when you implement uh, all the roadmap and uh, all the necessary points, uh, new ways of engagement. Um, this is possible only when you implement those things. So it's your investment and uh, I'm sure you will get much more in the future. Uh, you will gain uh, better engagement, uh, more dedicated communication uh, assigned to the, the individual preferences. So in the future, you will gain a lot of a lot more compared to the solutions you have implemented so far. So uh, be believe that uh, smart ticketing systems, dynamic pricing, implement dynamic ticket pricing based on demand and fund data, uh, or uh, different levels of uh, ticketed pricing, fraud prevention. So utilize blockchain for secure and variable ticket ownership, uh, right? So uh, it, it will be much harder uh, to uh, basically make some kind of fraud, right? Using uh, uh, tickets or resell them uh, before the stadium. Fun data collection. So collect data at the point of ticket purchase to enhance future marketing efforts. Uh, apart from that, uh, we have different uh, kind of data. Uh, so fan token analytics. When we issue when we issue tokens, uh, we will get data from this side as well. So track how funds are using their tokens within the apps ecosystem. Uh, what they trade for at what price? How often uh, do they hold them or do they sell them? Uh, or do they trade them? So you 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 can measure everything almost uh, real time. Engagement metrics measure engagement levels and identify top token holders. You can uh, create um, like ten 
10 most uh, most important funds within our community so you can uh, give them this kind of uh, you know opportunity exclusive offers uh, provide exclusive offers and experiences to top token holders and encouraging the more fun participation uh, so they will feel more uh, you know uh, uh, more uh, funds basically Enhance fun loyalty programs, behavior tracking, use blockchain to securely track and reward fun behavior, custom rewards, offer rewards tailored to individual fun preferences, program optimization, continuously improve loyalty programs based on data-driven insights, content monetization, uh, content preferences, so analyze which type of content, content um, and for, uh, formats, uh, videos, articles, behind the scenes, are most popular among fans. You will get this kind of information, you will get this kind of analytics. Uh, so the uh, strategy is very flexible document. You have to um, you have to change it, you know, and uh, see how the adoption works, what people like, what people don't like, what they use, what they don't use, and align with their needs and with their feedback. Um, pay-per-view and subscriptions, monetize high demand content through pay-per-view and subscriptions models. Advertising revenue, use data to optimize ad placement and increase advertising revenue from digital content. Uh, decentralized data platforms, fund data ownerships, allow your funds to own and control the, the data. In, the, by doing that, you increase trust and engagement, right? Data monetization, enable funds to monetize their, their data by sharing it with sponsors and advertisers in a control, control manner. Uh, transparency, uh, use blockchain to ensure transparency and security in data uh, transactions. So we have several data uh, metrics uh, here, uh, which we can leverage uh, for revenue generation and, and pass this information to our sponsors, to our fans, uh, sell you know the rights for broadcasting rights, uh, uh, or from different revenue streams such as fund tokens, NFTs, collectibles, trading, fees. Uh, you know, we, now we've got plenty of new ways of uh, engaging our funds and creating more money for our clubs, which means better, uh, better footballers, better uh, possibilities, uh, more active people, you know, end users. It's very important. And now, um, apart from that, yeah, so we have uh, now Q&A session. So uh, if you like, you might ask me some questions. Uh, this, is, this is the time. Happy to answer your questions right now. Thank you very much for your time and good luck.